The same for all the instruments of the orchestra. A time signature appears after the clef sign at the beginning of a piece of music. It has two numbers. The top number tells how many beats are in each measure. The bottom number designates what kind of note gets one beat. The numbers are not a fraction. The beat is a steady pulse which remains unchanged despite various rhythms happening in the music. So here's an example of a time signature. The top number, four, here in this example, means four beats per measure. The bottom number, four, means the quarter note or quarter rest gets a beat. So here's a 4-4 four, four time signature. It says a measure is the distance from one bar line to the next bar line. So here they have four beats, one, two, three, four, then they draw a bar line. Here's four beats again, one, two, three, four, another bar line. This is considered a measure from bar line to bar line. Number one, add bar lines in each line according to the time signature. So let's look at our time signature. Four over four. The top number tells us how many beats to put in a measure. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Draw our bar line. One, two, three, four. Bar line. One, two, three, four. Four, bar line, one, two, three, four, bar line, one, two, three, four, bar line. How many measures in this line? One, two, three, four, five. Let's look at the next example. Here the time signature is three over four. We want our beats in groups of three. So here we go, one, two, three, bar line, 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 one, two, three. How many measures in this line? One, two, three, four, five. Final example, 2-4 is the time signature. We're going to put our beats in groups.